Vlogmas day 24. Hey, it's the last <laughs> day. This is bittersweet because I had a great time. I did too. Yeah. And this is the last day. And we will definitely try to make this an annual thing. It's just going to be different advent calendars. There's a lot of advent calendars out there. You guys um, check some of them out for next year if you want to do it or whatever. But... <sighs> As you can see, we're all complete except for one, the big one, the big 24. Wow. So gonna... let's do it, my down Wednesday. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Bust that thing open and I tell her bring it back. Bust it, bust it wide open and I tell her bring it back. Bring it oh, back. Bring it's it back. Bring hey. it back. Bring it back. What say? Oh, oh no. it says cheers to 24. We did it, y'all. And it's um the brand is actually in good taste. It's a 2020 oh. Syrah from oh. California at 14.5. We did it, y'all. We made it. I love this. This is right on my alley, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I'm cheesy like that. All right, so it states, if there's a wine that can taste like an herb garden smells, it's Syrah. Fresh mm. herbs, savory olives, and lush palate, this wine begs for hearty dishes and an al fresco meal. The tasting notes is blackberries, rosemary, black pepper. We're drinking this with roasted lamb lollipops. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, it's like a lamb chop? Um, and they cut all of the extra stuff off of the bone, mm -hmm. so then it looks like a lollipop. The bone is the stick, and the meat is the sucker. You write that? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So for the last time, let's sniff. That's a full body. Yeah, I can always picture Syrah. I mean, I can always detect Syrah if it smell or bring me any type of recollection of Cali Red by Snoop Dogg, because oh. most of that is Syrah. Oh. So that's how I always know. Wow. And it smells like it to me. It is a nice little ruby color. Yes, it is. Right. Let's go. It tastes like Cali Red. <laughs> Syrah. Tastes like Cali Red. What was it? Syrah. Syrah. 14. Syrah. 14.5. Syrah. I mean, I would drink it. I wouldn't buy it. I buy Cali Red. <laughs> I wouldn't I would not buy it in a full size bottle but I would drink it it's fine it's average yep um Cali Red is what it's giving so if you're a Cali Red fan then you will like this one um mm -hmm. thanks for drinking with us and yeah it was great doing this with mm -hmm. in good taste um hopefully next year we can you know find another company bring you guys some new bring you guys and ourselves some new wines to experiment with we will and yeah you got any wrap-ups for vlogmas oh, that's cool um or do you have a favorite message? so for vlogmas my wrap-up is i'm just thankful to you for doing this with me because i really appreciate you and i uh, I had been, I had pitched this idea when we first started the channel and she kind of was like, mm, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was before, but, um, I'm excited that you did this because this is a lot. Recording every day is a lot, but it's worth it. Especially if I get to spend time with you. And hopefully we, I know we so far, we've gained about five new subscribers, so... Hopefully you guys are able to, you know, at least binge watch all of our Vlogmas uh, videos. 
um, spread the cheer around to family. Hopefully you got some new ideas on what you want to try Christmas Day. Yeah. And then as far as my favorite out of the 24. Shout out to, I think it's something Georgia Peach. I can't remember this uh, the name on YouTube, but you be having me cracking up. And so I appreciate you because we be reading the comments and every time I see your comment and you know who you are, I got to get the name right. I'm sorry. This is impromptu, but it was something Georgia Peach, like sweet Georgia Peach or super Georgia Peach, something like that. But dude, <laughs> we were kicking it in real life. <laughs> Um, my favorite was Dolcetto, mm. the one that tasted that had the like chocolate notes. Yeah, and I know it was a white, but I can't remember which white. Did you uh, have a favorite? Longadoc, <laughs> but y'all knew that it's me. Um, that was one of my favorites, and the Bordeaux Blanc. Okay, I liked that one. All yeah, right. that one was good. My favorite red was also the Dolcetto. Dolcetto, and it was funny because I'm like, y'all didn't know I speak French to y'all. It was Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up when I was editing the video, and I was like, I put in Italian, LOL, because I was cracking up. So one of my favorite things is editing these videos because I, I be cracking up watching these back. And shout out to Tish for filling in for yes. me for a few days during Vlogmas while I wasn't around. Thank you. So thank you for that. We appreciate you. We love you. Love and you. you did a great job. You did. And she looked gorgeous. She did. That she was great. Good. As usual, she just has one of those face cards that never declines. Never declines. And them red glasses, mm -hmm. fire. And you did copy off me in case you were, um, <laughs> since, you know, I think we had that conversation, but I don't know if we had a resolution. Yeah, yeah. I definitely had mine first. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I love y'all. Oh, so um, just the takeaways for me from Vlogmas is this is definitely something that I want to make an annual thing. Um, I had a great time. And uh, vlog, I hate saying, um, sorry. Vlogmas is one of my favorite times in YouTube land because I always watch, if my favorite YouTubers are doing Vlogmas, it's like a Christmas present every day for me. So shout out to Miss Vaughn TV, you know. And I tell her every single time I comment, you are my favorite channel. Chicago, stand up. Yes. All right, Um, what do you want? them to you want to give any insight to what they could expect for next year oh okay so what you guys can expect from next year we're going to try some things a little bit differently um we want to try to bring you some wines that we have not tried before so especially some of these now that we have experienced the in good taste uh, advent calendar we have some different wines to look into and research to bring to you guys and i'm also expecting that we're going to um just provide you guys with new great content and uh stay consistent because that's one of the things that is really important when you do this and also just hoping and praying that we can reach 1000 subscribers that's a very important number to me for some reason I don't know. Okay. Um, for me, definitely want to introduce new wines for us and for you guys. Um, definitely want to introduce some new, different type of things to the channel. So mm -hmm. I know in about a week, <laughs> I'll be leaving out to go on my first solo trip. Um, so I'm hoping I'll have the energy and motivation to vlog that mm. and that'll be something that I can share with you guys. Oh, I look forward to editing it. Um, editing it. <laughs> and yeah, I do want us to do some different type of like, mm. um, including like some travel vlogs, um, getting to some nearby wineries or wine type of counties mm -hmm. that specialize in it. Um, those near to us and those far away. So we shall see. Oh, also, we're going to start vlogging more. So in vlogging, when we do, it may not be Kai and I together. It may just be me doing something vlogging for you guys. It may just be her doing something vlogging for you guys. But that's literally how we're kicking off 2023. Because I've had uh, the desire for us to do more vlogging. Because I love 
One of my favorite things to see on YouTube is, um, hey, Peyton Charles, I'm a PayPal, um, is when people kind of just take us with them on their regular day. And there's nothing regular about Peyton, <laughs> okay? So I love her channel. It's a lot of YouTubers out there that I just really enjoy watching them just every day, what they do. Regular stuff, grocery shopping. It's one of my favorite things. So I, we want to kind of bring you guys some of that. And I'm still trying to convince Kai to do a mukbang with me. <laughs> I want to do a mukbang. I don't know. <laughs> I got to see. <laughs> Thank and, you and make sure that you guys are following us on TikTok, yes. um, in the Facebook wine group, um, yes. Wine Down Wednesday. Um, if you're not in that group and you are on Facebook, definitely request to join. Um, we'll drop, you know, links to our videos in there, have yes. a little conversation if anyone asks questions. And I plan to actually, you know, start interacting a little bit more in that group just to see what's what everyone is thinking, get some feedback or get some things you guys want to see. Yes, so we're on all of the platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, yeah, we're on all of them. But we love you guys. Thank you guys so much to our day one and our new subscribers. We appreciate every single one of you guys and that is the reason why we reply to all comments. Yeah. And Merry Christmas. We Merry wish you Christmas. well and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And cheers to cheers. you and cheers to us. Christmas is tomorrow. Christmas wow. is tomorrow. Oof, that came fast. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We are back. Wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Beep.